Now we're going to explore iNet Control, which is used to make changes and administer other functions on your docking stations that use our cloud-based service. To launch the docking station server admin console, go to your Start menu, All Programs, and then find your listing for Industrial Scientific Corporation. From here, you can choose the docking station server admin console. Once the program has launched, you will be prompted to put in your username and password to access the system. You may need to verify that your IP address for your server is correct. You can check with your IT department if you need that information. Once you have logged into the docking station server admin console, you will be able to view right from the main page what docking stations are currently connected. To view and make sure that all of your docking stations are showing up, click on the docking stations on the left hand side. All docking stations that are currently online will be showing up in blue. Once you have verified that all of your docking stations are showing up appropriately, go ahead and check and make sure that your events are scheduled to occur as you want them to. When we talk about events, we talk about your calibrations, bump tests, and diagnostics of the instruments. These are all underneath the events tab towards the bottom of the left hand side and then down under instrument and global. When you take a look, you will see all of your different events and from there you will be able to change their interval by going ahead and double clicking on them and changing when you want them to occur. Per industrial scientific's recommendations, calibrations should be done once a month or every 30 days and bump tests should be completed before each day's use. To verify that your cloud-based system is communicating properly, you will go to inet.indsci.com and put in your provided username and password and click on login. Once logged in, you will be able to go ahead and from our landing page, click on the button labeled Equipment and it will take and show you all of your docking stations that are currently communicating with our service. To verify that it is communicating currently, you can go ahead and click on the serial number of the docking station and it will bring up the docking station summary page. From here you will be able to scroll down and see the last upload times and all settings dealing with the docking station. To verify your schedule of events, you will go ahead and from the landing page choose the test schedule button. From here you'll be able to see when your events are scheduled to occur. Events are things such as your calibrations, bump tests, and data log downloads that occur on the instrument well within the docking station. To go ahead and edit one of these settings, you would just simply go ahead, choose the event that you want to edit, and click on edit on the left hand side. This way you will be able to go ahead and make changes to when the events occur or how they occur. Such as in this case, I'm going ahead and making sure that both my bump tests and calibrations will occur if both are scheduled at the same time. To save this, just say OK and it will take you back to the event schedule list. To make changes to your DSX calibration station settings, including the events that it runs automatically, you will need a couple of things. One, you will need a computer that has a network connection to the network that your calibration station is plugged into. Two, you will need the calibration station's IP address. And three, you will need a web browser on that computer that is connected to the network. You will open up a new web browsing session and at the top in your address bar you will type in https colon slash slash and then the IP address of the calibration station.
and hit enter. You will get an error. Depending on the web browser you're using, you will get a different type of error saying that your connection is not private. If you're using Chrome, click on Advanced, and it will tell you that you can proceed, but it is not recommended. You will want to proceed. Next, it will be asking you for a username and password. The username and password is DSX and DSX. Once inside, you'll be inside the DSX configurator. In here, you can make many different changes. Some are changes such as you can lock the menu so that the keypad will not allow you to do anything. You can go ahead and you can change it from a static IP to a static IP from a DHCP IP address. Underneath the Cal Station tab, this is where you can go ahead and set your clock for the date and time. And then you can change your scheduling. By default, it is set to bump any instrument that is docked into it. You can change that to calibrate upon docking or to none, and then you will be required to change choose. Then you will be required to choose in between doing a calibration and a bump test every time via the DSX buttons. Once you've chosen the change you want to make, click Save and your docking station will go ahead and come up with updating settings on the screen. Once it's complete, it will go back to a green light and you can continue making any changes in the configurator or you can log out.